Hi, great twelve student. So in this video, we are going to do event control account. So this uh, video, I think, is part four or part five of event control account. So I come with the other question paper, so that I can teach you something uh, different. Firstly, let's start by analyzing what is all about event control account. When we talk about event control account, guys, uh, we are talking about the calculation. Of VAT that we are going to calculate in order for us to determine whether the amount is due to SARS or due to us. When we calculate a VAT control account, we must be able to answer this by at the end of the lesson. Okay, now what is due to SARS? Due to SARS is mean that we owe SARS some cash. Due to us simply means that SARS or us, we have to get what a refund. Okay, now VET control account have a debit side as well, as well as credit side. Now, everything that is VET input must be recorded on the debit side, all output on the credit side. Okay. This is the other extra knowledge that you need to know on this uh, account. Every time when business spend or if transaction happen, remember as a business, we don't want to spend, but we want money. If you find that there is no benefit, any transaction that does not have a benefit, just make sure that you record it on the debit side. If there is a benefit, just know that we have to pay SARS some cash. How so? I'm going to simplify it for you. When we sell goods to custom, we benefited as a business. We receive cash. It's going to be output and we have to pay SARS. But when we purchase or when we incur an expense, like for example, it can be bad days or when we purchase or any other thing, that we, we are not going to benefit or receive any cash. It's going to be recorded as input. There is no benefit for it. We have to claim some cash from SARS. Okay. Now let's check. Uh, in other words, when you record this side, we are simple means that we are owing SARS because we receive benefit. Okay. The information. Calculate the VAT amount that is payable to SARS. Already they told us that it's going to be payable. Okay. Uh, number one, uh, information number A. They said amount due to SARS on 1 August 2020 state 1470. We owe SARS because we benefited, which means that our balance will be this side. The balance is 31,470. Okay, and let's check the transaction now. Remember, we only record VAT amount. Okay. Which means that we, you must avoid exclude, excluding VAT and including VAT and focus on VAT column. Okay, then they said the total sales. Obviously, there is a benefit because we sold. We benefited from cash we received from customer. 8250 We take VAT1. Okay, number two, purchase of stock. No benefit because we took money outside the business. Purchase uh, is 57,750. Okay, discount received from supplier. We benefited. Remember, when we receive a discount from supplier, simply means that that discount amount, we didn't pay it. We benefited. When we benefit, this side. Okay, discount from supplier. It's not all discount that are regarded as a benefit. Discount given to customer, we didn't benefit because customer didn't pay us. It's going to be input. Okay. Then we, re we have amount of 11,500, which we must calculate first. VAT is 15% and we have exclusive, we must divide by 100. Then it's going to give us... Uh, Amount of one seven two five. 
Okay, next one. Goods returned by a debtor. If a debtor returned goods, did we benefit? No. Which means that debtor returned goods and he need his money. Which means that we didn't benefit. A return. Okay. And we need to calculate. Because we have input, uh, the amount that we have is 22,500 which we must multiply by 15 over 100 and it's gonna give us a amount of 3,375 okay the next one a stock taken by uh, the owner costing 9,600 when the owner took goods is there any benefit yes the owner benefited because he took goods that he already claimed input he took it for personal use he already remember he took goods that we purchase here and we claim input and when we purchased that that stock we told the service that this stock we are going to claim it because we are going to sell it but when the owner took it and no longer sell it he benefited he must pay SARS. okay it's the drawings drawings Calculation is going to be 9,600 multiplied by 15 over 100. Okay. 1,440. Okay. And the, the last one. Data's account return off. Bad debt. We didn't benefit. It's an expense. Okay. And now we have a... 36,800 which is in inclusive of VAT we must divide by 115 and the amount will give us 48,900 okay in order for you to calculate uh, whether amount is due or is receivable because the question said uh, is payable already we know that this side is the higher one because you can see we have 80,000 here. It's not closer to any uh, of this. Okay, however, let's calculate. Uh, we have 31,470 plus 8025 plus 1725 plus 1440. This side we're going to have 114585. And this side. Uh, we have 57,750 plus 33,750 plus 48,960, which is going to give us 110,085. This side is higher, which means that this, this is what we owe us. This is what we are going to claim. Obvious now, when we subtract this two, 114,585 minus 110,085. We are going to owe SARS. Do to SARS. Uh, which is going to give us 4,500. We owe SARS 4,500. I hope you enjoy, guys. Please make sure that you join uh, extra class as soon as possible before your examination so that we can be able to assist you as much as we can. Because if you wait for test or for exam, guys, you are going to suffer more. So extra class is only... 100 rand per month, you attend twice every week. 100 rand per month per subject, and you attend twice every week. See you on the next video.